Hey everyone, my name is Maria and I'm a real estate agent in California. This is our second episode of the Bay Area City segment, and today I'm going to show you the city of Walnut Creek. You'll find out why the city is so popular among Russian speaking residents and many others. Let's look at all the ins and outs of the city and try to understand what is so beautiful about Walnut Creek. We are going to talk about Walnut Creek's location, its peculiar climate, how safe the city is, how accessible the public transportation is, the employment situation, its schools, parks, recreational activities, and of course, about the cost of renting and buying real estate. The population of Walnut Creek is approximately 70,000 people. The average age of the city's resident is 48 years old. The average revenue of the family is 105,000 per year. About 54% of the city's population is married. It's very homey city. Almost 33% of the residents are immigrants, and it's interesting that 53% of the people live in their own property, while 37% either rent a place or live with their relatives. About 17% of the population are white people, about 15% are of Asian ancestry, and the other 15% are the other races and ethnicities. The population has grown almost by 10% since the year 2010. The level of unemployment in the city is only 5%. Walnut Creek's weather is very unlike the weather in San Francisco. The climate is absolutely different here. And then in San Francisco is cool, windy and foggy, Walnut Creek is truly hot. During summers the air heat up to 40 degrees Celsius, however, the temperature normally gets between 25 to 35 degrees. There are very few hotter days, no more than 20 days a year. And another unique thing about Walnut Creek is that the temperature at night can be around 12-14 degrees, whereas during the day temperature was 25-35 degrees. It's a huge temperature difference. And I like it a lot because the air is always cool and fresh when I wake up in the morning. The weather gets hotter by 11 a.m. We don't even usually take a walk during that time. After 6 p.m. the weather starts getting cooler and it makes you want to layer something on yourself. I'd even say that I'm missing some warmer nights when I could go out in my backyard in a t-shirt and enjoy the weather. The air gets really chilly after 6 p.m. And another interesting thing is about the winter. The weather rarely gets below zero degrees during winters. There aren't many occasions when we can see actual frost. The winters are usually warm, around 12-15 degrees or 3-6 degrees during the night. But when I just moved here, I couldn't adapt to the climate for a long time because the sun's always hot and when you go out and it's 12 degrees and sunny, you feel hot, but you get cold as soon as you're in the shade. It was hard for me to deal with this difference in temperature. I saw kids walking around in t-shirts while I was wearing a puffer jacket, taking it off and putting it back on all the time. The climate is pretty interesting here. Walnut Creek is located to the east of San Francisco and Oakland. It's one of the cities around the East Bay. The road to San Francisco, that's only 25 miles away, goes through the Caldecott Tunnel set within Berkeley City. And you'd also need to drive through the Bay Bridge, which would cost you free $7, depending on the day of the week and the number of people you're in a car. If you are lucky and avoid traffic, the road will only take you 30 minutes. During rush hours, you can even spend two hours in traffic jams. So many people that work in San Francisco use BART. BART is the Bay Area Rapid Transit that resembles subway a lot, but it runs over the ground. And the road from the Walnut Creek Station to Embracadero in San Francisco only takes 35 minutes. Walnut Creek has two BART stations. 
one near downtown and the other one bordering the neighborhood city of Pleasant Hill. The parking situation isn't ideal for the BART stations. More people want to park their cars than actual parking spots there. So, many people prefer taking walks to BART or riding bicycle there. It only costs 5 cents an hour to park a bicycle in the BART's parking lot. Here's the bicycle parking area. We already mentioned that Walnut Creek has different neighborhoods. And now I would like to highlight that Walnut Creek has inside the city itself an incorporated area within the city. This means that emergency services that cater to this area, right now we're standing here near the Pleasant Hills Bar station, even if your home address is within Walnut Creek's unincorporated area, all the emergency services you get from the Contra Costa County. And all the laws, all the codes here are of Contra Costa County, not of Walnut Creek, where the area is actually located. Well, there are plenty of bicycle trails in the city. Three large asphalted bicycle trails go through the city. You can ride those trails on your bicycle or your scooter, or you could also take a walk with your child in a stroller. The most popular asphalted trails are Ivan Horse Trail that goes from the Concord City to Pleasanton, and it is 32 miles long. The city also includes the Contra Costa Canal Trail and Ignacio Canal Trail. Walnut Creek has a huge number of parks, 19 to be exact. The largest and the most known is Heather Farm Park. A couple of years ago the kids playground in this park was renovated and today this playground is one of the biggest and the most fun in the whole Contra Costa County. The park also has spawns with dogs, falls and turtles and if you're lucky you can also come across the family of otters. One of the highlights of Walnut Creek is the Heather Farm Rose Garden which is located on the territory of the park. The park also has a fancy dog walking area where you and your pets can find new friends. Several sports fields, tennis court, a swimming pool, and many walking areas across the park. I also have a secret place for you, the Castle Rock Park with a huge number of trails, picnic tables set under the old oak trees, volleyball and basketball fields, and outdoor swimming pool with some loungers. The pool entrance only costs $4 for adults and $2 for kids. And you can also visit a small private farm here. And of course, we must tell you about the Mont Diablo State Park, where you can drive up to the hill and enjoy the stunning view from there. But it's not that easy to get up there. The road requires people to have a good vestibular system and it's extremely windy, but it's totally worth it. The mound itself isn't as large as it first seems. It's only 1,170 meters high. And since the mound is surrounded by low hills and flat floored valleys, its size is truly incredible. Here you can also find many trails and campground. My husband loves to ride his bicycle up here. Well, loves to ride all the way down very fast. I'm not sure he's actually likes riding the bike up the hill. To sum up, Walnut Creek has everything necessary for active leisure, plenty outdoors and children's activities. And now I'd like to introduce you to Valentina. We made up a party in a Walnut Creek and since then Valentina has traveled across all the Bay Area cities because she is a child animator. She's held several parties for my and my friend's kids, and right now she's working on a big project, trying to unite adult people among the Russian-speaking community. And most importantly, Valentina has been living in Walnut Creek for so long time, so she truly can compare Walnut Creek to other Bay Area cities. Let's go meet her! <laughs> Hi, Valentina. So glad to see you. 
And you, it's great really fun and fun some time to meet up. I only ever see you on a kid's birthdays and adult games. Yes, we do adult games these days. It's true. I do a lot of kids' birthdays in the Bay Area and practically everywhere. So tell me, why did you choose to invite me to Vedavi today? It's a nice, small and cozy place. I'd even call it a women's place. We've got here a lot of French appetizers and wine. Here we can sit outdoors and enjoy some tea. There's so nice water fountain that we can sit and chat. In the fountain? By the fountain. It's my kid's favorite place. So, can you please tell us about your favorite spots in the city? What do you like to the most here? Which places do you like to revisit regularly? Well, I think I want to highlight the Civic Park near downtown. It's a great place for some family time. Downtown is very close to the place, so you can take a place for a walk or go to a restaurant afterwards. I like the Civic Park, the Forest Free Library, public library. And they have a cover place as well. There is a plenty of playgrounds and parks. Find some coffee. Many other parks do not have such coffee shops, and here everything is so close to each other. We can go to a library, get some books, then go buy some coffee, some yogurt whenever we want to. We can always take a walk if you feel like it. The park has a fire station that always excites kids so much. Then there's a police station near it. Everything is a five minute walk from each other. And police cars in five tracks often gather up in the Civic Park in the afternoon, which is also fun for kids. It allows them to explore those professions. My kids love it. I've just remembered about uh, the Lindsay Wildlife Museum. Have you ever been there with your kids? Yes, it's actually near Lucky Park. They have many playgrounds and water park that's also great for kids of different ages. The Wildlife Museum is a great small museum with different birds and other creatures. It's interesting to go to a zoo to see animals, but this museum is actually a smaller, more compact place where you can also meet the animals. Maybe even pet some of them. See unique animal species right there. But why did you choose Walnut Creek? What do you like most about it and can you imagine your life outside the Walnut Creek? Honestly, I would say no. I can't imagine it. Walnut Creek is my home. It's my spiritual place. I came here and felt like I was destined to be here. I met my soulmate here and we built a family here. I got my business ideas here. I've got a lot of here. I met friends here and got some spiritual place dear to me. This place has everything. Nice weather, lakes, diverse nature. Here we can find a desert, green fields, forests. I have everything. You can get to Sacramento from here in just an hour and to any Bay Area place also an hour. The ocean is very close as well as Lake Tahoe. They have snow during New Year's, it's Bay. And Napa is also very close. Living here is unlike anywhere else far. Brandon is very close. Here you're practically in the center, everything you want one is close to you. What's about Brentwood? Brentwood means garden. They have fruits and berries. It's a nice place to get away too. Or Napa. It's about wine tasting, girls meeting, romantic dates. I'm glad you're in your happy place. And so am I. It's truly a place for my soul. Thank you so much, Valentina. See you at the kids' celebrations and adult gatherings. Bye. Bye. So, we went over kids, leisure and outdoor activities. Now, 
Let's talk about what shopping, restaurants and bars have to offer here. You see, Walnut Creek is one of San Francisco's suburban areas that are active day and night. I'm about to show you one secret place of many Russian-speaking people of Walnut Creek. What is also popular among people from other areas? The label store. If you want to buy a Louis Vuitton purse, something from Fendi, Gucci, Dolce & Gabbana, you can find vintage and second-hand pieces here for a much lower price. I don't shop here, but I know that many people love it and love the store. Whenever I walk past it, look at these items, I also think that I like them. But I always wonder if I'll even be able to walk in these pretty shoes. And no, I won't. <laughs> Plenty of large stores and small boutiques, farmers markets and restaurants, bars, and even several nightclubs. One of my favorite clubs is called Dance. Theatre lovers will be pleased to hear that Wallen Creek downtown has the leisure center of the arts, where you can come and see different theatrical and musical performances. If you are planning on teaching your children Russian, you'll be glad to know that just how many Russian-speaking classes there are in Wallen Creek and its neighborhood cities. There's the Russian drama club Skazka, the two times two mathematical center, this Nike educational center that teaches math and Russian language. Walnut Creek doesn't only have Russian speaking clubs, but also many other classes for children. Not just women pools, not just martial arts. Here, children can dance, do acrobatics, anything. Kids always have something to do here. If you ever miss the food you are so used to since early childhood, Walnut Creek has a Russian store called Babushka. Let's go to the store and meet the owner, Leonid. Hello, Leonid. Hello, hello. Your store is somewhat of the fatherland for us. Great. Mayonnaise, quark, kefir. We'd like to chat with you. We opened in 1996 without even knowing what a Russian store in the United States even was. Why not? Because I uh, was a pilot, 23 years of experience, 10 of which were in Afghanistan. And when I came here I thought I would continue flying. But I needed a passport to fly, which I could have only gotten after 5 or 6 years of residence. The kids were growing and we had to provide for them, so we decided to open a Russian store. It turned out to be very successful, uh, because we cooked the meals ourselves. We called it babushka since we use grandma's recipes. You cook here? Yes, we cook everything. You cooked it all? Yes, we cook every day, so everything's fresh. We do catering, cater to all the people. We lost a lot of catering gigs because we catered to Google and Apple with three or four hundred people a day. Everyone works from home now and we lost some catering opportunities. But we aren't stopping here, we still very much running. So, Leonid, you've been living here for so long time. Your store is 25 years old. Yes. You say everything has changed in these 25 years. So, who used to visit your store back then and what kind of people visited nowadays? 25 years ago we had older people as our customers and Russian people that sold Russian products specifically. Today the situation has changed. We have a lot of Eastern European customers and also a lot of Americans. Life's amazing! Come to Babushka, you won't regret it! Your products have English words on them, so they're all produced here? It's very expensive to deliver products and Russians that moved here back in 1980, 1985 
have built factories near New York. All those factories use Russian recipes to produce their goods. Cool. Why aren't these signed? Here are my cards. Nice. Who sent you this? This is my The Second World War veteran certificate. This came from Russia. Can you tell us about how Walnut Creek's changed in these 25 years? Uh, Walnut Creek has fully changed. For the best? Uh, something in between. <laughs> something in between? What's changed? Some things are better now. Some are worse. The old Walnut Creek was more searing. Whereas now it's more youthful and loud. All in all, Walnut Creek is a great quiet place here in the United States of America. Thank you so much, Leonid. It was really nice to meet you. Valentina told us that you aren't just a store owner, but actually one of the Russian community's unique people. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'd like you to share one of my best findings with you. This is a new winery located right in Walnut Creek, where you can book a table and spend a nice evening with your loved ones alongside a new wine yard. They also cook dinners, so you can enjoy everything – wine and good food. So, we are done with later activities. Now it's time we talk about schools. An issue is so important for parents that move to Walnut Creek. How are schools here? The city has three schools districts. The Walnut Creek School District, Mount Diablo School District, and a very small part of the city falls into San Ramon School District. Essentially, all the schools have a higher ranking, ranking 7 out of 10 and higher. A very small part of the town falls within the Mount Diablo School District, that also includes Concord City with lower school ratings, 2 4 out of 10. The San Ramon School District schools are ranking up to 9 10 out of 10. You may already know that kids go to schools depending on the area they live in. And so, if you live in a certain neighborhood with certain schools, your kids will go to these schools. And here we can see tendency that the houses around 9 and 10 point schools are more expensive. And accordingly, the Mount Diablo Schools District of Walnut Creek has lower housing, real estate and rental costs. This brings us to the issue that concerns a lot of people. How much does it cost to buy and rent real estate in Walnut Creek? Let's talk a little about city safety, which will help us understand why property cost 2.5 million in one neighborhood and 1.5 million or even 500,000 in others. From 1 to 100, the level of serious crime in Walnut Creek is 11.7. That rate being 22.7 across the USA. Whereas the level of crime against property estimated to be 48.5, with an average of 35 and 4 of these crimes across the USA. One of the most widespread crimes in the city is stealing or breaking into expensive cars. As is known, the majority of these crimes happen near the BART stations, freeways, and commercial areas. Bedroom districts are more of an exception to the rule. So, everyone tries to move to and buy property in more quiet neighborhoods. It's harder for criminals to flee from these areas. Housing near to loud streets, streets near parking lots and commercial buildings is always a bit cheaper. Cheaper than the same property but on the quieter streets. People also prefer cul-de-sac neighborhoods because everyone knows everyone there. Neighborhood watchers are very common in the US. These are people that watch over their neighborhoods. In my neighborhood we have a great man called Edward. He drives over the neighborhood on his scooter twice a day. 
to ensure that everything is okay, that he recognize everyone, that the streets are clean. That person is the first one to notice unusual activity within their neighborhood. And make sure to inform the police about it. The average cost of buying a house with three bedrooms and two bathrooms in Walnut Creek is 1.3 million. Houses that have four bedrooms and two or more bathrooms cost 1,657 million on average. Condos cost significantly less. On average, two bedroom condo costs around 500 and 550 thousands. Whereas the cost of a three bedroom townhouse is over 800 thousands. Rent costs depend on whether you are renting an apartment or a house. A condo or a two-bedroom apartment costs around 2,200 a month these days. To rent a house, one would need at least 3,500 a month. It's probably not a very good house with an old design. Freshly appraised houses with new titles on average cost 4,000 a month. Today we have learned about the city of Walnut Creek, one of San Francisco's wholesome areas. We saw the city is very homey in its quiet neighborhoods and a really lively and noisy in downtown area with an active nightlife. I hope that you found this episode useful. If you have any questions left, feel free to write them in the comments under the video. Click thumbs up, I will talk to you in the next episodes. Goodbye! Hope to see you soon. Bye bye!